Wow, that's how you feel? Uh. Everybody, happy Sunday. Welcome to Smith Talk Sunday with the Smith. I'm Jaleesa, this is my husband Darren, and we are a married couple, and we make videos, having discussions, open, honest, raw conversation to help you have a happy, healthy, successful marriage just like we're trying to have, because we all know this thing is not easy, and we're in it for life. So, we, shut up. <laughs> Today's topic is all about going to be pretty much discussing five ways to not lose yourself in marriage. And we have our special guest again, Savannah. She's over there, but you know, she'll be floating all around in the um, video. So we're going to talk about some ways to know if you may have lost yourself in marriage or if you already know what we're talking about, comment below. Do you feel like you've ever lost yourself in a relationship? Like you've lost your own identity and you just kind of started to do everything that your partner liked to do or you did everything for your kids and you just looked up and you were like hey like who am I what do I like to do like what do I want to do with my life or after my kids get out of school what am I gonna do you know that's what today's topic is about uh, okay uh -oh. yeah uh oh is right whoop your ass <laughs> <laughs> right, so here's five ways I wrote some notes so I could just stay on track because you know me y'all um uh, sit down here are five ways to know if you lost yourself in a relationship or marriage. Um, one, you don't even know what makes you happy. Like just you, not the kids, not your husband, not your wife. Um, when you've done, when you can't even remember the last time that you've done something for yourself, you know? When you can't remember when you've actually had your needs met, when other people have actually met your own, met your needs, or when you've actually done something to meet your own needs. And when you feel like you can't even express yourself, like you don't even express your true feelings and your true desires um, to your partner, to your family, when you can't even communicate that anymore. And when you feel bad, like when you feel selfish or you feel, yeah, like you just feel bad for wanting something for yourself or wanting to do something for yourself. So those are five ways to know. There's more, but that's what we're gonna discuss. Five ways to know if you have lost yourself in um, a relationship, so. What do you think about this? I think that before you got married, you had a purpose, you had an identity. So after you get married, don't allow that to affect anything. If your dreams was to become a real estate investor, a real estate agent, a fitness instructor before you got married, don't let that, don't let the marriage, or even if you have kids, stop you from chasing your dream. And you know what I hate? I hate when people say, you ask them, uh, so what is your purpose or what do you do this for and they say I do it for my kids mm -hmm. and that's a cool cliche answer but you should do it for your suffers yeah because if you're not fully happy in yourself then your kids gonna feel that and it's gonna affect the whole family so always put yourself first even before the kids the wife you put yourself first you I mean, at the end of the day it's your life like you get one life so why are you putting yeah. Your dreams on hold, or not your dreams, just anything that makes you happy on hold to be depressed, just so. Or resentful. Yeah, or resentful. When you like tying your whole identity to your And kids, it doesn't your mean husband. that your kids or your wife gotta suffer. It don't, gotta, it don't mean that, but you yeah, definitely not need gonna to suffer. put mm -hmm. yourself first. If your thing was playing basketball every Thursday before you got married, and that's what like your hobby to keep you happy and keep you sane. Like you need to continue doing that after yeah. you get married. Don't just stop that. You might have to switch up the day, the time. Yeah, like there's gonna be some small activity. sacrifices, but yeah, nah. It's definitely. I mean, I think relationships are a lot about sacrifice. But I think that, like you said, one of the like we always talk about, you know, um, doing for other people, serving other people. But I think that how we serve other people is if we serve ourselves first, because when we're all together and we feel good. We're just naturally gonna do more for everybody else. That's all our purpose here. And that's how we glorify God. It's like glorify God through the life that you live. I think people kind of get it twisted sometimes and they're like, well, I'm a wife now or I'm a husband now. I gotta do everything for my family and blah, blah, blah. Then you start feeling bad and- You just, should wanna do for your family, but you yeah. gotta make sure that you definitely put yourself- first. But not the only reason. Like the only reason you that know, you wanna do real estate is not for us. We had the baby and stuff. And I kind of started feeling bad about myself for going to the gym when you couldn't go. Like physically, you couldn't go at the time. And I was like, I started feeling bad. And I was thinking like, yo, I'm not feeling bad no more. Because when I don't go to the gym and I'm just home and I don't know, and, I don't, and I'm just, just home. Open around. I start, every negative energy in me. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like 
I just feel like yeah. for, for me the gym is more so like therapy more so yeah just to like get myself back for my confidence and when I don't do that and I feel like I gotta stay home because she's pregnant it's only an hour or, right? had a baby. or she just had a baby mm -hmm. it starts affecting everything so you go just, to the gym like that's yeah. what you've been doing and that's what makes you happy keep doing it go to the gym keep like. doing it i see mad people after they have kids they just completely like let themselves go and it's like bro what like what are we doing here are we trying to be around for our kids are we trying to be healthy for well for ourselves of course and then for we want to see our kids grow up like so you have a much better chance of that if you're eating right if you are working out regularly taking care of yourself and you don't even like for me i know i have to switch up my workouts a lot like now i work out faster yeah excuse yeah. me i work out faster like i don't be in the gym we used to be in there just for hours hanging out yeah. hey how you doing how you doing no, like no, no it's, oh okay i talked to everybody <laughs> i talked to everybody in the gym so that was how i used to be but now i'm like in the gym all about business and i'm out who say i'm gonna put the kids first and they sacrifice their entire life and dreams for put the kids first. Put, think of it like this: when your kid turn eighteen, he ain't gonna put, she ain't gonna put you first. Mm -hmm. They gonna get the fuck out of here. And you're not gonna want them to put you. Like you're Listen, not gonna want to stay around. They gonna get out the you. house and go live the their best life while you sacrifice those eighteen years mm -hmm. and now you done lost who the hell you are. Yeah, your identity. And you your baby's still you gonna love you, but yeah. they gonna go do their own thing. They're not worried about you. And I think think about when it comes to savannah i'm always like i want to keep following my dreams and following my purpose because i feel like i want to show her what it looks like to live a you life need to show your, your kids how to be happy yes like they gonna look at you as they see that daddy and mommy always happy mm -hmm. then they going to want to be always happy yeah if they see you always they gonna take it to a new level. stressed tired as hell from working 30 yeah. hours a day well, that's only 25 hours a day. 25 a day because hours a day. Cause they, cause you, cause and you you're putting never them there. first. Yeah, that's not, like that's never not there going that well, yeah. Mm -hmm. not. So you really gotta. Yeah, yo. You really gotta put yourself first. It's like you do it for your family, but you really do it for you. And then you, and then in turn, you do it to work for God. Like that's how we do it. Then God I had a conversation with somebody and you know, they was, uh, they was paying for their kids college, right? Um, they was, uh, like they was working two, no, three jobs trying to pay their kids college and he kind of like lost his hobbies and what he liked to do and stuff and he stressed to put his kids through college i promise mm -hmm. you if i couldn't afford like if i didn't prepare not to couldn't afford it i'm not working three jobs to pay for savannah college she's going to take out loans so mm -hmm. i can live my life mm -hmm. she's gonna have to do it yeah like, i'm not i'm not doing it and i think most kids would it. not she'll be okay like, yeah like she'd be, we was she'd okay be like, you got like, loans we was okay yeah. i got loans we okay we got this, she'll figure this, it out we'll we figure it out is that like I think as we as we do more for ourselves we learn to do better and we learn to show our kids better you know what I mean or to our family or, or our community too like being in your community and serving your community like I think that we just have to lead by example in all aspects of our life and if you're not taking care of yourself and if you're not doing anything for yourself how are you really showing others what to do how are you showing young girls who are coming up after you how to live their life and how they should carry themselves, you know, and you're always looking raggedy and rough and you always looking stressed out, your eyes are bloodshot, you got bags in your eyes, like nobody's gonna, even if you, even if you are doing good work for other people, no one's gonna wanna really emulate that because it's like, that's what it looks like to, to be of service to other people. Like, I don't wanna be like that. These young kids ain't gonna wanna be like that. They ain't gonna do that, trust me. We had Savannah, it was hard trying to figure out like, it was like a shift happened, of course, that happens with a big life change. And we got married in the same year, so that was just a lot all around. But after, it's like, we're, I think now we're kind of like getting it together. Like, it took, a, it took a couple years to like get our legs, our like uh, parenting legs. You know, they say sea legs, like parenting legs. But I think now we're doing pretty good when we have our routine, we doing things for ourselves. We're um, on track financially, like, <laughs> <laughs> we get on track. And I'm not saying, I don't want them to say like, don't sacrifice for your kids. I mean, small sacrifices. We sacrifice is every single day. It's necessary. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, we sacrifice every single five, day. Five, 10, 15 years, and you still, like, say if you, was, you had to work. You're not work. laying down your life for yeah, your like, kids. And you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't have to I do that. I figured, like, you need to find, in our society. find fun ways to do both, if that yeah. makes sense. Ah. Like, if, if, if you gotta help. Pay for daycare every week because bills went up or hey. Uh, 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 uh. No. Mm -hmm. Because uh bills went up or something. Maybe you need to uh find other ways to make money. 
So yeah, that's that's like a hobby. And you can include your family. If it's meant to be happy, not yeah. fucking stress. You get listen. People don't understand that you legit get one life. And mm -hmm. I, I it take it took me a, a minute. That's to the only that. one that we know of. No, yeah, we get one, and that's mm -hmm. and it's short. We for real, for we almost halfway. But we don't know that in the grand scheme of things, life is short. We don't know how long we're gonna live. Okay, like, on this earth. we 30, 32 years old. That joint went by like this. But some people didn't even make the 32. That's well, the that's thing. What I'm saying. That's why you gotta live your life. Yeah. You have to, cause. And it doesn't mean, we don't mean like just leaving your family, living your no. life, and being like, oh, I'm. It just it just looks different. Like your purpose will change. Your purpose evolves as you evolve. Your purpose will evolve, and if you are aware of that and you recognize that, then you'll be able. You'll make it so much easier on yourself to like include. Like when she gets older, Listen. I guarantee we're gonna be doing workouts together. We're not just gonna exclude her from the whole. Just day. don't be that person who goes to work every day to a job you don't like. Right? I'm sure that has to happen for a certain period of time. You'll be sacrificing right yeah. now. And Listen, he's not the best. Just, we sacrificed. Listen, let me finish my you keep, you keep interrupting me, really. You like, interrupted me mad time. Because you talk a lot. Okay, okay. They I want to hear from me sometimes. Yeah, sure. but you talk a lot. Don't be the person who go to work every day no. to a job you don't like, come home, watch the news, go to sleep, and do that again for 30 years. And that was your life. Because you were sacrificing to provide for your family. Yeah, work like. You be at work like how's your day? Yeah, you be looking look at your look like, at look at some of your coworkers who be walking around. What be the what be the first thing they say? Old people. Oh, two more years before I can retire. It's only two Like they counting down mm -hmm. forty years to death, basically. They they gonna retire. They like gonna what they be, gonna do? They gonna when they retire, retire what they gonna they don't even gonna know what they wanna do anymore. That's what I'm saying. That's why you gotta you got a job you love, then that's different. But I'm talking about to the yeah. People who work in these jobs to sacrifice for their family and they lost themselves and they just yeah going you, with emotions. You really owe it to yourself, yeah. you know, to do to do for yourself. You really owe you really owe it to yourself and your family to do to yourself. And so five ways. One we talked about it already is like working out, exercising, moving your body on a regular consistent that exercise basis. Exercise plays a big part in your mental, man. I'm trying yeah. to tell you, don't don't underestimate exercising and eating healthy. Mm-hmm. Cause. And, and then people be like, I don't understand when people be like saying that they um they making food like women especially they're like oh I made myself a separate meal it's all healthy and stuff and I made other meals for my and for there's my nothing and stuff. wrong with fast food sometimes I eat fast food at least once a week facts you too you eat your pork leg at least oh, no, no, once no, no, a week oh no 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 yeah no honestly when it comes down to whether I'm gonna be stressed out trying to hurry up and cook dinner or be eating dinner mad late because I'm out or I just uh, came home late from work then we gonna eat fast food or chipotle try to make it the healthiest possible fast food is amazing it tastes yeah. amazing okay, we know but you don't just eat chipotle but it tastes it. amazing it's I don't want y'all to think that you can't eat fast food <laughs> no you can day. definitely eat fast food don't feel bad for feeding your family fast food every day is a little bit excessive yeah. but like <laughs> once it's or twice a week is <laughs> is all right but having a girls night or a guys night with just your friends like just have your separate friends I think that's really important and and let them let them have their time with their friends. Don't yeah. be calling them. We talk about this. Don't call let them. them. Let them have their time with their friends. It's necessary. Let them have even a girl's trip or a guy's trip. Go have go go. We talk we going. Go to Jamaica. Go to wherever y'all be going. I ain't been nowhere yet. I'm trying to Is go your somewhere. Friend, you ain't got no friends. Yes, I do. Go you have your trip. Subscribers, do you wanna be my friend? <laughs> I know my subscribers are my friends. I got friends. Your own friends have a girls night, guys night, girls trip, guys trip, whatever. Okay, let your partner know in advance. Don't miss out on the kids' activities in school or they little recitals and stuff like that. But you know what I mean? Um, I think for women, you, and you too, like Darren likes to get his little shape up. Oh, sorry, I'm doing like this. Darren likes to get a little shape up every week, every other week. Yeah, that's what, you and like to get your head done. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So get your hair done, get your nails done. Mine are not done right now because financial responsibilities. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow and it's gonna save me time and make me feel better. And I just feel good when I have my hair done. You just show up differently, you know? So whatever you gotta hey, one, one clue, one clue to know oh, yeah, if you, okay. one clue to know, cause I be saying some better stuff. One clue to know, when you do have your girls night, your guys night, and the girls or the guys are still on you, you know, oh yeah, I still got it. Just go out once in a while, get that confirmation. And then come back home. You need that. I, I don't need to go out there to confirmation. All right, well, girls usually go across the street. You know what I mean? Y'all could go anywhere. 
<laughs> and then I think it's important to just try new things and new activities that like you want to do. You know what I mean? Like yeah. just that you want to do that's important to you. Try new things. Like I went to a dance class. Twerk like class. What? Yeah, twerk class a months ago. And I really like that. I like to do stuff that I like to do. Like anything that you used to like to do back when you were younger, bring that back into your life right now. If you like, if you like to twerk back in the day, you can switch it up. This is what you got to do. Put it on the agenda. Y'all, so in conclusion, this is how you maintain your own identity in marriage. Don't feel selfish for doing it. It's actually for the better of your entire family and of your partner, If you, if you even if you don't have kids. So, now we're gonna get to the comment of the week. The comment of the week is from B. Christine. She says, I gained 25 pounds after saying I do within six months. I lost about 10 of those pounds, but I still have 12 to 15 more to go. We are here encouraging you, B. Christine. We are here to encourage you. Okay, Barb. All right, thank y'all for watching so much. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the video out with your friends, with your married friends, and we will see y'all in next week's video. <laughs> shut it up, girl. Shut, shut it up, girl. Clean up, up, up. Clean. She stank. Is that her? Mm. 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 Mama, mama. Mm. I knew she was doing that. I knew that's what she was doing. <laughs>